In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to Davisburg, Michigan for the antique flea market. There was a ton of stuff there and we found so many great things. So come along with us as we go shopping for treasures. You're not going to want to miss this one. So if you're ready for this episode of Flea Market Rescue, then let's dive in. One quick note before we get started though, if you're new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. My name is Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. I also take you along shopping with us as my mom and I go to garage sales, flea markets, and thrift stores. So I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Now, I've never been to this flea market in Davisburg, but I was really excited to see what it was all about. I heard a lot of great things about this one, and the people that put on the show in Midland, they also put on this one too, so I knew it had to be a good show. And can I say, this show did not disappoint. It was packed with tons of stuff. I already can't wait to go back next year. I had my mom and Debbie come along with me and we had such a great day. Why is my mom wearing gloves? Because it was absolutely freezing that morning. Yes, it was 40 degrees out and a lot of things had frost on them. <laughs> frost on Let's my see pump. mom. Frost on my pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's cold. <laughs> yes, you definitely want to dress warm when you come here in October. This show is definitely worth braving the elements. And it did eventually warm up a little bit later in the day. I thought this was a really cute table with a six pane window frame on top. I like this little barrel. Let's see what else they have here. My mom was like, you have to take a picture of this sign, Evaluation Center for Disturbed Women. I'll tell you what, sometimes when you're going and buying all this stuff, you do feel a little crazy. But it's so much fun, and you only live once. Oh my gosh, you guys, metal drawers. I'm like a moth to the flame. But these are $30 a piece, and God knows I have enough. Let's go back to the bed frame that we first saw when we got here. Is this not grand or what? I love this. You could put chalkboards on each side. It just really is a stunning piece. Now, I didn't see a price tag on it, and it was a little large for me to take home, but I loved it. Ooh, now these are cute. Now, 25 is a fair price, but I can't really resell it at that. And let's see what about this one here. 35s, yeah, I can't really make any money on this, so we're just gonna keep going. But they're cute, though. Wow, this is heavy, it must be cast iron. That blue bench is cute, and I like this dresser, too. Both Debbie and I really love this long bench. You know, the one that had that outdoor thermometer on it that told us it was 40 degrees. Wow, $15 for the pair. All you furniture flippers out there, you know that's a great deal. Definitely could make money on these. Wow, these are awesome end tables. You definitely can make these look stunning. This is a super clever idea. I love the ladder with all the shelves. Those tote boxes are really cute and I like the baskets too. So the first thing you might notice is all the red things on here, but what I noticed was this whole table. Look at the wood on top, look at the color of this. It was gorgeous. I wanted to take it home. I need to take a look in her booth. I'm loving these black drawers. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. She has some old spindles. Now these are really old. She has some really cool pieces and she's on Instagram. So I'll leave a link in the description. She goes under the name of Michigan Rustic Relics. What are you guys looking at over here? I'm wondering what this is. I'm thinking, at first I thought it was a fountain. Yeah, it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? But there's it? no place to hook a hose to it. So hmm. is it just for flower arrangements? That's cool. Well, it's working. Those are nice and dairy. Um, that lady said definitely go into the barn. I, know, I heard her. And yeah. she said this is better than that one. Her friend. Better than that one. Yeah. Hmm. She said she couldn't believe the amount of frost. I'm like, either could we. Look at this. This is really gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't it be a cool island? Oh my god, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that color and then that one. I'll tell you. Now I collect old clocks, especially black ones, because you can put them in your Christmas tree to symbolize New Year's Eve. You can put them on tables for New Year's Eve. They're just really cool. I'm going to have to get this for $12. Yeah, I bought this. I still don't know if I'm going to change the color, but I love the shape of it. This is really a cool box. Okay, well that is just filthy and you'd have to clean it up, but it's still a good looking box on the outside. Oh, look who's here. Our friends from A Step Back in Time Vintage. You remember them. They're the ones who have the junk monkey paint. We met them in Midland. The two different styles. So there's the clay based, clay and mineral based, and then there's the milk paint. So there's two different lines. Have you okay. ever tried milk paint? No, oh. never tried that either. Milk paint is like really unpredictable. You mix it with water so you can mix up a little or a lot. Okay. And, uh, but it's very unpredictable. You don't know what it's going to do, so it could chip off. So you have to just, if you like that look. Yeah, a lot of so people do. You just have to do you hear that, you guys? We're, we might have to try this, too. Uh, and then this is mineral paint, you said? Clay and mineral paint. Clay, okay. And uh, look at all the colors. So many different colors. I know, look at this. To uh, try that. And then the, you can do the wax or the... Yes. Um, Banana peel, which is like a poly. Oh, okay. And, yeah, so they have in glossy and matte. It's got and, it. Okay. A bunch of different ones. But it really sticks to pretty much any form. So as you can see, they have all kinds of colors. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to get some because this is some really good paint. As a matter of fact, I just did these end tables in Paris Gray by Junk Monkey. Now they are in the sun, so the color is just a little bit darker if you take them in the house. But I think these came out fabulous, and like I said, they have all kinds of colors. They also sell hand-poured soy candles that smell fabulous. And they also carry a selection of Jamie Ray vintage stencils as well. So I'm admiring this next booth and I see these springs and I'm like, okay, I could put Santa heads on them or snowman heads. And then I came across these cute frames. This booth was really catching my eye. This angel's kind of cute. I can see it with some chalk paint on it. I totally could see this painted like cement. It reminds me of one of those heads that we've seen at 235, that store in Marine City. What is it, Dan? This. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't it just beautiful? Wow. Anyway, I think that could look so cool if you painted it like cement. I really like this Czech pumpkin. So then I came across these old kitchen utensils and I just was really loving this booth. And then I saw the sign. It was the Artful Road and we actually had done a show and they were like in the next row over from us. And then I introduced you to them when they did the antique show in Utica. No wonder I like the booth, look at. <laughs> The Artful Road just has a cool mix of stuff. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to look them up. They're also at the Vintage Market Merchantile in downtown Fenton. So let's get back to looking. 
They had a lot of hardware and silverware, things that were just right up my alley. Then I came across these at their booth. They're vintage shoe forms and I've been seeing them on Pinterest and I've been seeing them everywhere. They hang them on the wall and they even add a hook to them so you can hang things off of them. It just looks really cool. So these definitely caught my eye and I think I'm gonna have to get two. Let's see what else they have here. Oh, I remember a lot of those crushed velvet paintings of Elvis back in the day. Speaking of Elvis, did you guys see that new Elvis movie with Tom Hanks? It was fabulous. I definitely recommend it. If you haven't gone and seen it, go see it. That white table is beautiful, isn't it? Oh look, they even have one of our stars we're gonna make for Christmas. Yeah, so if you get a chance, check out the Artful Road. Can I say I am loving this shot so far. This is a good show. Cool too. Black. <laughs> oh, I'm getting this. Look at how long and slender and it's just really cool. This is really neat too. I could see putting your cards on it. All right, I think I have to have this little chair too. All right, let's just take a quick look to see what else she has here. Fabrics. Oh, look at this red blanket. That would be perfect for Christmas. Here's an old quilt. All right, I don't know how I overlooked that cute little red suitcase. I would have definitely bought it. I could paint it white. I could do some transfers on it. Darn. Oh, well. Look at this door, you guys. That is gorgeous. Love it. How much? 40. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 40 dollars on the store. Oh. <laughs> I think we need a door. <laughs> I know. Prices are really good. Boy, forty dollars on that door. If I had a little building, <laughs> we'd be taking that home. Deb, let me see what you're getting. I've seen a little sign for my laundry room. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. This is really interesting. I don't know, is it a candle holder? This almost looks like the clock I bought in Springfield. So what time is it, Kelly? <laughs> it is time to get this clock. This one's a neat one too, but I think I actually bought the exact same one at a thrift store. It's so funny because I walked out of this booth and then I saw Debbie walk in. Debbie, what do you see? One of those. I wonder if I still have it. 
I don't know. If, I hate to buy it because they, they, they work. When you get home, then, you know, I bought yeah. so many and I got them home and they don't work. Hmm. It is very cute. I know I bought one of those before. I like these umbrellas. I ended up buying two of them because they can make a really cute Halloween display. Debbie did end up passing on the clock, but if I find that one, I'm going to give it to her. I really think I have it packed away in a box of unfinished projects. I'm going to have to do some digging. These are some nice letters. You can make like a sign saying fall, string them along. That's a nice quilt. Ooh, that's a little spooky. Hey, speaking of spooky, next week we'll have all Halloween projects. And I'm going to take you for a tour down a street that's featured on TV for their Halloween decorating. It's a little spooky, but it is incredible to see. This was a really good booth. I loved all the stuff she had on the outside and I couldn't wait to get into the tent. These were fabulous. They were heavy. You could use them for Christmas. Maybe put some chippy white paint on it. Love these. I was really loving this booth and I asked the woman, do you have a card or a name? She goes, well, um, it's Milk House Antiques. If I had a name, that's what I would name it. She was so cute. So she didn't actually have a company name, but if she was going to have one, it was going to be Milk House Antiques. She also said she was thinking about opening up a barn, and I told her if you do that, just let me know and we'll pan through there, and then that way you guys will know of her because she had some great stuff and she was just so cute. How much are, you, are these? About their eight. Eight dollars, okay. Oh, I see, yeah. All right, Debbie. Debbie's getting this for five dollars. We've been talking about wood stars for I don't know how long. <laughs> Cute. I really like this one, and it was very unusual because it was skinny, and it was only five dollars. I heard that you have to go into this barn, so I'm pretty excited to go in here. Yeah. All right, you guys. A little bit of a steep hill. You go in this barn here. So you build all these yourself? Yeah. Oh my gosh. These are really beautiful. We've seen him in Utica, you guys. I might need one of these for my farmhouse kitchen. I didn't get a card last time, but I have one now. So if you see anything you like, I'll leave a link in the description for you.
What's nice is these are all handcrafted and his company's name is Mailco Creative Studios. And again, I'll leave a link in the description for you. After seeing the inside of this barn, I want one. Oh my gosh, do you hear our wheels on our wagon? It's like, oh my gosh, you have too much stuff. Now that's a cute little bird cage, isn't it? All right, so we saw the barn. Now we're back outside looking at all this awesome stuff. There is so much cute stuff at this show. I can't even believe it. What are you looking at, Arif? No, no. This wooden thing. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Debbie's on the hunt for a long flannel. What I love most about the flea market is this is the place where you can find architectural pieces. And look at these. Oh, there's an old iron. Remember what Debbie said? Irons have a million uses. I use them to put on things when I'm gluing something or repairing something. I use them for door stops. I use them for a book in for my cookbooks and stuff. Yep, so there's many uses for these irons. How cute are these little Amish cookie cutters? Let's just turn this little guy around, see how much he is. Okay, $22, that's about right. Well, she didn't find a flannel, but she did find a cute butter dish. Debbie, I want to see your butter dish again. Look at this, you guys. It's so cute. It's, so cute. it's really thin. Yep. Love it. This next booth was fabulous. Wait till you see it. I saw these wooden drawers a mile away. They look so old, and I love the compartment one. Look at that. Oh, you know who's getting a couple of these wooden drawers. Yep, me. All right, let's take a look inside her booth. Hi there. Hi. Hi there. Her booth is called Three Leg Dog Antiques, and she's on Instagram. I will leave a link in the description for you. Oh, these pumpkins are great. She did a great job on them. These urns are just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this display. Someone definitely has it. I love the old boots, the mannequin head, and I don't know if this is a witch hat, but it sure looks like a witch hat, and it's all steel. Love it. Oh, and she even has some old shoe forms. These look like to be kids. They're only $10. That's not a bad price at all. Table at Christmas. Oh, the turkeys, yeah. Mm -hmm. So very cool. I love these jingles. It's really cute, too. How much is that? Uh, I have 40 on that. That's cute. That is really cool. It's heavy. It's, I had to pay up for that. Well, I'd have to say this was one of my favorite booths, so if you get a chance, check out Three Leg Dog Antiques on Instagram.
Well, we're starting on our second load here. We already took one the whole load to the car. I really like these because this one has like little compartments. Look how old that looks. Yep, I bought two of them. This is a good one. That's cute. Oh, the white pumpkins in that tote is the perfect touch. So this booth was called like Mother Like Daughter Vintage Treasures, and they even have a store in Holly, Michigan. I'll leave a link in the description for you. They decorated really beautifully, but my favorite thing at their booth was these white witches hats. They could have been featured in a magazine. And again, this booth was called Like Mother, Like Daughter, Vintage Treasures, and they're located in Holly, Michigan. That's well worth it. And while we were looking through the barns, we ran into some friends from Colette's. Well, 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 look who we ran into here. Hi, Sue and her husband. <laughs> Remember her husband makes those awesome rings. Sue works at Colette's. So nice to run into you guys. Nice to run into you. You remember Sue. She works at Colette's where we have our booth there. Hi, Sue. Hi. She is so sweet. And her husband makes these spoon rings. They're all handcrafted. They're beautiful. He makes them all from old silverware. See, I told you, there's a lot of things you can do with silverware. If you're stopping by Colette's, make sure you check out his rings. And for those of you who are too far to visit Colette's, I'll leave a link in the description for you. Oh my God, I might have to have her. <laughs> She's cute, huh? Well, she's different. Oh, she was speaking to me. $18. Oh my God, I love her. So as I was checking out this stinking cute witch, I heard some laughter going on. <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, it's, <laughs> you gotta... Everything is I'm sticking only... to my mom's sparkly gloves. <laughs> I'm You're six dollars, huh? Yeah, I'm cheap. <laughs> and that's why you don't wear sparkly gloves, my friends, because everything was sticking to these gloves. She was stuck on somebody's merchandise. She had hang tags that were caught on them. Ooh, these are five dollars. Yep, I have to get those too, huh? Or five? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good price on them. Yeah. We're gonna get, we're gonna take them. And then you wear white ones. I really like the white ones. Do I need that many? I don't know. She's 18. Oh, don't you worry. This little cutie patootie went home with me. 
Now this girl had a lot of great vintage items and she also made primitive dolls. You know that I used to be a primitive doll maker so my heart was definitely with this booth. Will you look at the snowman head? How cute is that? She had some old jugs and crocs, things that I really like. Anyway, all these dolls are made by Elizabeth and I will put her link to her Facebook in the description. Elizabeth's sister-in-law had the booth right next to her and I couldn't believe it. My mom was like, oh my gosh, she has your pumpkin. She absolutely nailed it. My mom couldn't even tell the difference. You did an awesome job, Julie. Mark your calendars, you guys, because the 2023 dates for Davison and Midland are now out. And we'll definitely be back at this one. This is a nice stand. Oh, I love the little piggy bank, too. I could see this in a farmhouse kitchen, and the prices are not bad. This too. You could put maybe like a seedling in there. I like those metal drawers with the knobs. Oh, I'm going to need one of these for our next project. You know these antique metal drawers are just calling out to me. I wonder if she'd wheel and deal with me if I get these drawers and a door. It never hurts to ask. In the end, she said that she would take both for 50. Are you liking the flea market so I love far? It. I love it. I know, right? So I many know. cool things all in one place. I know. And the people are so cool. Yeah, I really like this flea market. Aren't these cute? Yeah, those are super cute. They're like uh, wood carved. But they're not. Two bucks. Two bucks. I think we could do this to swing two bucks, right? Um, my mom just picked up some. Those are cute, Debbie. $3. Oh, and a little pig! Yes. He's not flying, but he's cute. He is very cute. Debbie's getting all these here. Pumpkins, just like you. Pumpkins, just like you. Those are a little different. Just different oh, those colors. Are those are a dollar? Yeah, those ones are a little, maybe a little beat up or newer. Oh, okay, then I gotta get some from here. Oh, jackpot, you guys. I've been looking for yardsticks. Normally, they're like 3 to $4. These are a dollar. I'm going to stock up. We're going to do some projects with yardsticks. We're working on our second round here. Right, Deb? Yep. Are we finding anything over here? I found a cute song. Just the season two be freezing. <laughs> Should I stop one? Oh, yeah. And that's very fitting for today. Although it is warming up now. 
oh my gosh, these have the hooks. Remember how I told you they hung them on the wall and they put a hook and you could hang things off of them? Well, just look at this. I really like this and so did Debbie. I think we need this, you guys. What's that? Yes. I'm thinking I might need this too. I totally could see this on a wall with little clothespins and pictures on it. I think we're gonna get this if it's not too much. Oh my gosh, this is such a huge chalkboard. And it's only $45. I want it, but it's just huge, and where would I put it? If I had a store, I would have got it and not thought twice about it. Oh my gosh, look at these doors. Looking gorgeous. All right, you guys, I need to leave before I buy something really big that I can't get home. Well, this show was absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed looking at everything, and I will definitely be back next year. Again, here are the 2023 show dates for Davisburg and Midland. I definitely recommend both shows. They're really, really good. I'm so glad I went to Davisburg today, and I will be back in May for sure. If you know of any good shows that you would recommend, please leave it in the comments, and who knows, I might even be taking a road trip. So we're heading out of here, but we are going to make one more stop. We saw a garage sale on our way in, and we're going to stop at it. Now at this garage sale, she had a lot of fall signs. But what caught my eye was this chicken, pig, and cow. But it looks like it had almost been on something, like a platter or something, and it broke because there's like jagged pieces around the cow's feet. But for three bucks, I'll sand his feet and maybe glue him on some wood. Yeah, I gotta get this for three dollars. No, I would just paint this all black and then put a hay bale and some 
fall leaves, some pumpkins. Yeah, that would be cute for $5. Yeah, it's a nice blanket. Yeah. Okay, so we are at the Yeah. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.